Hey guys, how you doing? Dude Long Couch here. Welcome back to Uncharted 4. We're in a new section, guys. We're still in King's Bay, I guess, but we're heading for a tower, which is apparently right in the middle of a big populated area. That's a little new. This is going to be fun. And uh, Sam's off on his own. He went to his own tower. I took a couple days off from this game to uh, play some Fallout, but I'm back now. Um, let's see. I don't have any weapons. I guess that's a good thing. So there's a lot of people here. <laughs> Excuse me. Although I can totally see a gun and a grenade right there on my belt and my holster, so coming through. Maybe I'm just not allowed to use it here. I don't know. Let's cut through these people. I don't like people. There's too many people in the world. That's why it's kind of a good thing that Nathan Drake kills so many of them, in my opinion. Is that a weird thing to say? Sorry. Oh, they don't like it when you try to cut in line. Come on, man. We have that to look forward to when we get back to the States. Could be worse. Could be our Stotska. Oh, don't even remind me. <laughs> they really just don't want you to cut through that way. What about up here? Sorry. Touchy. That's a shiny vase right there. So we probably could just head straight for the tower if we wanted to. But you guys know me. I got to look around first. Hey, hey, and we are rewarded. With a dirty, shitty earthenware mug. How is that a treasure? I have like eight mugs in my kitchen cabinet right now, and they're all better than that one. Who cares? Madagascar, come to this place. It's awesome. <laughs> That's a pretty good catchphrase. Come to this place. It's awesome. That's like the country motto. <laughs> Oh, what's up? I'm gonna call you... I was gonna say Betty, but I think you're a dude, so... I don't know. We'll call you Rodney. That seems like a good name for a bull. Hey, guys. Seen any uh, pirate treasure around here? Hey, Nate. Sorry, he's so impatient. Oh, I am sorry. I... Here, let me help you. By mistake. I apologize for my friend. I haven't fed him in a while. Take care. <laughs> you see the way she looked at me? <laughs> you are delusional. I don't think so. Well, why don't you invite her back for some spicy bread? <laughs> that was weird. I'm going to go back and hang out with my bull buddies. Rodney and Hammer. I don't know why I chose those two names. Rodney and Hammer. It just, it just seems appropriate. I hope I'll see you guys later. Can't go back there. Hey guys, what are you doing? You guys busy? You got a minute? Excuse me. Sorry, I, just, I really need help finding something. Do you, do you have a second? Guys? Okay. Excuse me. Uh, I really gotta get through here, guys. Sorry. <laughs> I'm pushing up right now. You just stop right there. Big invisible wall. Okay, fine, fine. Here. Thank you very much, sir. Enjoy your apple. And tell your friends. <laughs> Why am I eating it like this? I actually uh, really like apples. I could go for an apple. You know what would be cool? Is if that apple selling lady was like the dog in Resident Evil 4, and she comes back later, like during a boss fight, and just like snipes somebody for me. <laughs> and then I look over, and I see her, and I pull out the rest of my apple, I take a big bite of it, and she just winks at me, and then disappears. 
No, don't throw it away. I need that apple. Oh, man. Big room. Oh, this is something out of Avery's era. Where did you get this? Uh, friend, that is a very unique item. I'll give you a discount. $500. <laughs> Man, are you kidding? I don't even know if it's real. But I kind of want to buy it anyway. I'll give you 50 bucks for it. $400, and it's real. I don't know if I'm interested in that piece. Uh, I don't know. You strike a hard bargain. Come on, man. 200, okay? That's all I have on. I cannot possibly part with it for less than 300. That is my final offer. All right, I'll take it. 300. Nay. Really? Done. You see that? That's how you hang. <laughs> you say so. <laughs> That's one of the treasures. Antique compass. I like the antiques in quotes. So it's probably fake, right? Excuse me. Well, I assume that Nate would be able to, to spot a fake. If it actually was. I bet you it's real. I bet you I wouldn't even, like, go for it if it was fake. This is fun. This reminds me of the part in Uncharted 2 when you get to Tenzin's village and you're just walking around, like, seeing the people, playing soccer with the kids. I just shoved my ass in that guy's face. Ah, yeah, you like that, don't you, buddy? Ah, ah, ass face. The hell is that supposed to be? Somebody needs to work on their signs. That thing's a piece of shit. <laughs> Playful little inner tubes. Kitty tubes. Excuse me. I should buy one of those as an apology to Elena. I'll be like, honey, I'm finally ready to settle down and have some kids. And I brought this all the way from Madagascar just for our future kids. That would smooth everything over. Mmm, meat. Need something to wash down that apple. That is surprisingly well animated. <laughs> I feel like in a lot of games, like that little flipping animation with, you know, getting the spatula in there and everything, that would not be that well done. I mean, it didn't look like 100% real, but it looked real enough. Yeah, I'm What's up, guys? I want to look at this giant pile of ground beef. That's not actually that interesting. Okay. Ooh, shiny. Been through there. Sully's just waiting for us. Like, Nate, come on, man. What are you doing? I'm in your stall. I'm in your stall. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'll bet you in, like, a half hour or so, there's going to be a big chase sequence through this area. Either I'll be driving the Roadhog or I'll just be running like a crazy person from a bunch of guys with guns. What was that? Oh. Hey, you like that? Huh? Tower. Yeah, but Sully, come on, it's a, it's a lemur. Come on, come say hi. That's all right. <laughs> so cute. Oh, man. He is cute. Lemurs are cool. I'd have a pet lemur. Whoa. Oh! Hey, Sully, <laughs> look who's back. <laughs> rabies, snakes. He doesn't have rabies. Do you think he'd be, like, chilling out on that dude's shoulder if he had rabies? Come on, Sully, you're old enough to know better. Don't be an idiot. Hmm. 
Excuse me. Well, I guess we've seen about everything in here. Well, let's check this little alleyway back here. Nope. Hmm. All right, I'm satisfied. Let's move on. Hey, Nate. Want me to buy you one of these? Sully, you gotta be crazy to wear a shirt like that. Ah, crazy handsome. <laughs> Sully and I are both packing heat right now, and nobody seems to care. I guess it's maybe normal around these parts. I, I admit I don't know much about Madagascar. I'm a stupid American. Oh man. Something smells really good. Could it be this? Mm, that's right. It does smell good. Well have some. I guess I'm broke now <laughs> since I bought that compass. just how large this area is. Excuse me. I'm going to spend a whole video just running around the market. <laughs> I know you guys don't mind, though. You probably appreciate getting to see everything. And I'll tell you what else, maybe we'll make this one just a little bit longer than usual since it's been a day or two since I uploaded. I've been doing that a lot lately, making like extra long videos. People don't really seem to mind, so maybe I'll stick with it. Excuse me. All right. Is this it? Oh, we hit the tower already. Hey, here we go. Locked. I guess we're gonna have to sneak in. Discreetly. Implied by the use of the word oh. sneak. So. <laughs> oh shit. I just broke that crate. I hope that didn't belong to any of you people. That window over there is broken. Oh, good eye, Sully. Good eye. I guess it's gonna be on me, huh? All right. Hey, Sully. I think we can squeeze through here. That'll work. <laughs> Sully still gonna be able to make it? I don't know if he does a lot of climbing. All right, this is a weird angle. There we go. Oh, here he comes. Cool. No. Okay. Back. <laughs> I just still haven't found that sweet spot between, like, the camera orientation and the actual direction to, to push the stick. Like, it just, it, it always feels weird to me. Also, where the hell do I go from here? Oh, here we go. Can't squeeze in there. I can probably just jump straight to the window from here. Okay, let's see what we got. Good job, Sully. Wow. This place is in much better shape than the other towers. That's right in the middle of the city. Might make getting the treasure out a bit tricky. <laughs> One thing at a time. Let's just not draw undue attention to ourselves. That'll be a first. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's probably still people that, like, work here and visit here. We're probably going to run into somebody. I'm not even sure 100% what we're looking for. Well, here's a good start. Edward England sigil, just like the map said. So what are we looking for? Good question. That's what I was just asking. Nice. 
Nephrites and Jade Bowl. Okay, that's a pretty decent treasure. Be a good popcorn bowl. I can't help but notice that I found three in a row. I know I'm jinxing myself even by saying that, but I'm proud of myself. <laughs> Wait, what was Sully looking at back there? He was looking up. I guess he was just looking at that statue. That's kind of creepy. Is that thing pointing at me? It's like you. You're next. This is a very tall clock tower. Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, man. Just got a slight chub looking at that. Had uh, Assassin's Creed flashbacks. I'm ready to climb this whole thing. This is going to be fun. But first... Hmm. Now what do you bet? Look, there's Leo. Ah, Taurus. Four signs. Uh, four bells, way up there. And these things in the middle of the floor look like locks. Got it. Let's go ring some bells. <laughs> this is definitely the place. Call Sam. On it. Scorpio, Aquarius. Leo Taurus. Voicemail. Hey, Sam. Looks like we're at the right tower. Call us. They don't have the best coverage in this city. Well, no reason to wait. Okay, so this stairs got jacked up. We got a journal entry. Hold on. The statues appeared. One, two, three, four. Okay, scorpion, guy with pitcher, lion, and bull. So I guess we probably have to ring those bells in that order, right? So we want to start over here. Uh, shit. <laughs> this is going to be tricky, isn't it? I don't even know where to start. Okay, well, that would be the starting point, but the stairs collapsed, so we should figure out a way... Oh, I guess I found a way. <laughs> How do we know the rest of this shit's not gonna collapse, too? I'll be right back. Gears up there. You bet. Good call. Aren't all the people in the city gonna be like, why is the clock working right now? <laughs> the hell's going on up there? Oh boy. Uh -huh. Um, okay, I guess we go back. Oh, and then it... Oh, uh, we gotta... Okay, hold on. Let's do this. Oh, man, that is some tricky shit. Woo! Uh -oh. Move, move, move! move. Whoa, okay. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess we're like halfway up.
Um, can I climb the gears? Okay, oh shit! Fingers, Nate. Can I be nervous? No, good. Trust me. Have I heard that before? I don't know. This is kind of nuts. That thing's moving really fast. I don't think I can get on that. Yeah, he's not reaching for it. Although, I feel like I should be able to jump up and grab this one. I can't pull myself up, though. Okay, what am I missing here? That thing goes... Wait, can I get to the top of this one and then jump over? Okay. Oh, I have to time a jump through this. Oh, the, okay. I... Yeah, I'm gonna mess this up. You guys ready? Ooh! This is fun. I'm really enjoying this. I, you know, there was another game that had, like, gear climbing like this in it. I can't think of what it was right now. I remember it being a lot of fun, though. Leo. I dated a Leo once. Wait. This isn't the right one. We have to do them in order, right? Does it matter? Uh, it probably matters. I don't know. Well, okay, we'll skip this one for now. Oh, there's the first one. Okay, Scorpion. Ooh. That looks like he just damn near made it. Scorpio. That Avery was a Scorpion. Avery <laughs> was a scorpion. Okay, that is really loud. Hey Nate, that did the trick. The Scorpio lock just released. Okay, moving on to the next one. Okay. Did he just cross out Scorpio? Alright. Wait, is this new? Oh, that's the actual map of where the towers are. Wait, I made a drawing of the lemur in there, didn't I? <laughs> Let me look at the drawing. Get this thing out of the way. I wonder if Elena would let me get a lemur. I'd name him Victor. <laughs> he's, he's smoking a cigar like Victor. <laughs> that's great. Oh, I love it. I had a comment that pointed out that it's possible that when there's a blank page in there, it might be because the next image in the journal is like a two-page spread. So I hope that's the case. Uh, I mean, I don't know for sure. But so far it's been consistently true, so we're going to go with that theory. Anyways... Okay, next up is Pitcher Man, which is down there. Wow, he actually said it when I looked at it. Leo. Yeah, I'm not going by their names, and I'm probably going to die if I jump down there, right? I think we're supposed to go this way. I'm not really big on astrology. It's all bullshit. Jesus. Two down, two to go, kid. Let's see here. All right, next up was the lion, right? Just double check before I fuck it up. Yeah, 
Lion then bull. But yeah, I'm not trying to offend anybody when I say that, but I, I, I'm very... <laughs> oh shit, where am, I, where am I going? What's happening? I, I'm very strict in that belief. I think that astrology is just the biggest load of bullshit ever, and I don't know why people <laughs> buy into it. I mean, it's, it's cool if it's just something that you do for fun, but I think, like, if you actually believe that, like, I don't know, man. Again, sorry if that offends anybody, but... Hey, this is my freaking channel. It's my opinion. Now, the uh, problem here is that I'm stuck. Okay, ride this up. To where? Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay, a lion. Okay, bull. Where is the bull? Have I, have I even seen that one yet? It's probably like way at the top. I'll say this much for astrology though. It led to one of my favorite Bo Burnham jokes of all time. He said, uh... He said my grandmother was a cancer. Which is ironic. Because she died to a giant crab. <laughs> which is a pretty awesome joke. Pitcher guy. I haven't even seen the bull. Is it? Oh, there it is. It's over there. Uh, I probably have to go the long way around, I'm guessing. Uh, I want to get on this one. Yeah. Get up there. Oh, shit. No! Oh, hey, this is a way better option. <laughs> Really? I can't jump to that gear from there? I guess it doesn't have the handholds. I need to get onto that thing somehow. Um, ooh, maybe I can jump up right from over there. Go away, Hint. You're not wanted yet. Oh, man. I, there's handholds right there. Problem is, I don't know how to get there. From here. Let's try this again. I think I was on the right path here. I think I just messed it up. Up. I'm not sure if I can reach that from here. Ugh! Yes! It worked! Feeling a little nauseous here. Alright, come on, this has gotta be it. Give me the reach! No, no, uh, oh, come on. Okay. Woo! Got it. Hey, Sully, any word from Sam? Nah, he's probably fine. I just forgot to charge his phone. Uh, maybe. I could see him doing something like that. So I guess that's maybe how we get back down from here. I don't know. Twice. Let's ring the bell. <laughs> the worst. The worst? Shut up, Nate. Thank you. Hey, that did it. The chorus is unlocked and every sigil just appeared in the floor. Yeah. Damn. That's it. Nothing. 
like freaking Hogwarts up in here. The stairs just appear for me. So what I do, just cross this out and the Avery sigil appeared. Alright. Ah. Going to swing... Where exactly? Just back over to that side? Okay. Is this guy nice this is timed Better move shit I don't know where I'm going that was fun huh I was expecting it to be a lot longer than that honestly and now we're probably going outside We've come a long way. This is a very well designed area. Wow. This is a nice view. That is a nice view. I'm just gonna let that on the screen for just a minute there. Let's just soak it in. Appreciate it. God damn, what a game, guys. What a game. So far, I would say this game is meeting my expectations. It's not exactly exceeding them, but that's only because I had really high expectations in the first place. It's it's solid. There's a lot of things I like about it. No real downsides that I've noticed. Some weird control stuff. Uh, doesn't really ruin the experience, though. The pros definitely outweigh the cons. Where the fuck am I going now? <laughs> A lot of times I get stuck on these climbing sections, though, because the paths aren't, like, clearly marked like they've been in previous games, but I don't even consider that a con, honestly. It's just, uh, it's more challenging, which I actually appreciate. Um, I really don't know where the hell to go from here, though. I wonder... Yeah, the hands are lined up get across. I was just thinking that, like, if we can change the position of the hands somehow. I was like, I don't know, maybe the solution to this puzzle is just to wait a half hour, like, <laughs> go grab a sandwich and come back later. <laughs> can I fuck with these gears? Uh -huh, here we go. Got it. Time. Oh, it even goes faster. Based on your positioning, that's awesome. Farther. Farther. A little bit more. That ought to do it. See, in that case, it was actually no, no, integrated no, no, into a no, puzzle. No, no. Oh, shit. And you know, guys, the great thing about the voice acting in this game is that a lot of it is improvised by Nolan North and the rest of the cast. Just like the, a lot of the little quips that he makes and the jokes that they have, you know, it's uh, it's done like on the fly while they're mo-capping this stuff. And it's like super impressive, in my opinion. Uh, he pointed that way, but he wasn't really reaching, so I don't know. <laughs> okay, well... Oh, shit! That was weird. There wasn't a lot of fanfare for that. It just happened really quickly. They didn't even say anything. Oh, there you are. Whew! We made it. I sure hope you're doing okay out there, Sam. Poke around the circumference here. No treasure. Let's get another view. Look at that. My god. What an amazing skybox. 
What amazing geometry. Got a radio tower up there. Volcano. Looks like we can climb up from there. Or we could just walk in the front door here. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, Sully, I made it. One second. Got to make sure there's no goodies. Okay. Looks like we're going to crank this, and there's a convenient handle to jump on right there. I wonder if I can ride that the whole way down. That'd be great. I tried it, man. I don't know what happened. It's what always happens. Everything broke as soon as I touched it. That's my life. Uh, here we go. Uh, oh, okay. Jesus Christ. Hey, Sally. Oh, shit. At least I got the door open, though, huh? <laughs> That's one way to do it. You all right? I don't know yet. You? Deaf? Come on. Let's see what Avery has in store for us. Okay. Well, <laughs> it wasn't that long ago I was asking for some, you know, better... Exhilarating set pieces, and holy shit, that was it. You know, I figured something like that was gonna happen, but man, like the direction of that, the way it went down, that was fucking cool. I, wow, my eyes are wide, and like, when that thing landed right next to me, like, I, I actually, like, let out an audible, well, it wasn't audible, like, I, 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 like, gasped, but it was like a silent thing. It was like, <gasps> like my heart caught in my throat. Holy shit. Okay, well, um, yeah, that's probably a good stopping place. <laughs> when we come back, guys, we will descend the stairs that we have demolished and uh, find out the secrets of this tower, I guess. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Uncharted 4. That was awesome, and uh, we'll be back soon. Thanks. See ya.